Hey, it's Faye from Faze World Media. A few days ago, I applied to Bard. In case you're not as familiar, um, it's basically the chat bot for Google. So finally, a few days later, I received this email. It's my turn to try. I'm going to walk you through the process with the program. So it looks like you probably should read these things. Um, agree. And Bard is an experiment. We'll not always get it right. We'll get better with your feedback. Got it. So let's compare Bard and ChatGPT at the same time. So first, um, I'm Bart, your creative helpful collaborator, and you can try these few things. Um, draft a packing list for my weekend fishing trip, outline my blog post. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna say outline my blog post about creating loop videos for YouTube Shorts. So that's something pretty specific. Here, I'm measuring and really looking at the time, you know, how long it takes to generate the responses, certainly the quality of it. That took about 15, 20 seconds or so. Here's an outline. And as promised, let's go ahead and drop the same question into ChatGBT. And so immediately it's typing things out. I gotta say it's pretty smart for ChatGBT to give you this kind of progressive update. Uh, instead of waiting, it's kind of giving you all that content. So let me go ahead and just take a, a quick look through the outline. What are loop videos? Why they're important? That's good. Always open with an introduction. Body, how to create loop video, short video. Yes. You know, in a way, I got to say, this is not fair because YouTube is part of Google. So I got to say so far, the conclusion, the tips are pretty on point. Still frame. Okay, very specific. Ooh, we're gonna try something else. Now, ChatGPT is not Google. Briefly introduce it. So this is also outlining, I can see. Like again, flipping it back and forth. This is kind of, uh, Google is giving you a more linear process, um, introduction body of the content and conclusion. And whereas GBT, if ChatGPT is giving you intro, choose your content. It's like more like chapter by chapter, shooting and editing, adding music and caption, publishing your loop video conclusion. So let me know in the comments below which one you like better. Now, what you guys also know is that ChatGBT is really good at summarizing and uh, give me another outline. So here's another. Oh. <laughs> So it's not just building, my bad. I thought giving me another outline is about reiterating based on what I just did. So give me another outline. Let's see if Google knows it any better <laughs> or it can't figure out at all. Now it looks like it's really confused. I just love experimenting with it. Sure, here's another outline for your blog post. God, I can't believe Bard is winning in this case. Introduction. So the question is, is it is it different or is it very much the same? So far, I feel like a lot of the advice is very much the same, as you can see. Um, it's a little bit different down here. Additional tips, that's fine. And for some reason, weird reason, that ChatGPT just kind of didn't figure out what I was trying to do. Now let's ask a question that's not related to Google or ChatGBT. So um, I'm going to do something I just literally Googled. Why is Chinese sneeze darker? I literally was wondering because when you get um, tahini, it's kind of a, a whiter paste. So look at that. It's made from toasted sesame seeds and it's pretty simple, I guess. Tahini is made from raw sesame seeds. That's why it's whiter. Let's see. If I create a new chat, that was super fast. Perhaps it's just too simple of a question. It's also got to keep in mind, one of the reasons that ChatGPT is, you know, a little bit slower is because a lot more people are currently using it. And I'm recording this as of like 7.20 PM on a Thursday night. So interesting. It just, it seems like, I also I'm not on a premium version. So this is the free account. Wow, what's going on? Looks like it's choking, but it is a more detailed answer, right? Uh, it really depends on what you want, essentially. 
So must be made with an unpeeled sesame seeds, contribute its darker color, uh, different types of, oh my goodness. Now I feel like ChatGPT is trying to write an entire article as opposed to giving me an answer. So you get the idea. Now let's move on to the next thing, which is um, how to learn Chinese fast. Pretty generic, just wondering what Bart thinks. And looks like, um, you know, what I do think it's interesting is there's the Google it, right? Uh, you can give it a thumbs up, down, set realistic goals. So let's also ask ChatGBT. I'm just, just following the tendency of creating a new chat each time, which is something that's worth noting because if you have created queries in the past with ChatGPT, it is helpful to be able to navigate using these tabs just because, you know, if you want ChatGPT to summarize something for you, to change it, to create something new, you can keep track of it that way. Whereas I feel like currently, you know, how do I go ahead and, and save this? There's kind of no easy way to do that. Um, I can edit that, but I, I don't really see currently a an easy way to really sort it what about activity so if i click on bart activity it's there but frankly from a user design perspective i do like it pinned on the left hand side so let's take a look at the tips here how to learn chinese fast five tips immerse yourself in language uh challenging but rewarding now let's look at chinese fast and it's a challenging task practice, practice. So sometimes I feel like with ChatGPT, because it has, it has been going on a little bit longer maybe and with more user input, it tends to be more plain English, more verbal, and it can pivot. So what's so special about ChatGPT and one of the biggest reasons people like it or love it, I think is because, uh, you know, it just, it's, it has a way of refining it, reiterating on it very quickly. So talk to, set realistic goals. So the tips in a more conversational way would be, <laughs> so talk to native speakers, watch more Chinese drama, TV, listen to Chinese music. Not only is trying to make the text more conversational, it's actually trying to make the tips easier for people to communicate with one another, almost like a conversation starter is the way that I'm interpreting this. Um, whereas I think, you know, another tip for secondly, chat GPT is actually making the content itself more conversational. And this was my original intent. I think it's really interesting that we need to think about combining different tools. Now we're only talking about Bard versus chat GPT, but you know, there's also Bing and you know, soon, I mean, there, I feel like the market today is just flooded with AI tools, but these are the major ones everybody's paying attention to judging versus comparison, all that jazz. So, I personally, if I'm doing research for content creation, even creating YouTube videos as I'm writing about on my channel, I would love to be able to talk to and work with different AI tools. In this case, I wouldn't mind working with both BART and also on ChatGBT. Also on top of that, because I'm a YouTube strategist and you know we have turnkey uh, solutions for business, um, it actually makes a lot more sense for me to really talk to both, in particular BART, because BART has insights into YouTube content, video content creation, because I think it just has more insights from a YouTube perspective. So let me know in the comments below what you think. If you like this video, you're gonna like what I'm about to share with you next. So click on the next video right here and I'll see you there. Take care, bye.